Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy Nunez, aka Vintage Pokemon Hunter. We're back here today with another video. This item is actually from, I got it here this year on eBay, back from March. I just looked at the date on this. The date on this is March 30th. Something earlier this year, I have no idea what it possibly could be. Just another item that's laying around that I still need to get to. Figured I'd go ahead and open it for a video tonight. Why not? If you aren't yet and you're enjoying this content, make sure to throw a thumbs up on these videos and hit the subscribe button. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Vintage Pokemon Hunter. And if you are, yeah, again, on YouTube, to subscribe, man. If when I, I'm really getting close to 2,000, finally. Once I hit 2,000 subscribers, I want to show real quick, down here, just a little glimpse of what I'll be giving away. We have, again, the three Hidden Fates tins. And we have back there, we have, I'll be doing one of these. I have a couple of them. I have a bunch put away. I have two on my display here, but back here, we have a Premium Powers Collection from Hidden Fates. That box was a European exclusive. It was released one time in the United States. I think it goes for more than $150 the last time I looked. That box was $50 when I started this giveaway, which is crazy. So that's just a little perspective to you about, uh, you know, how much Hidden Fates is, is really worth it. And like that, something like that won't be reprinted again. Like they're remaking the Hidden Fates ETBs. Like you can see it up there. I have the one with the three birds on it. They're remaking those. So those will, you know, the people will be able to have access to those soon within the next month or so but let's see what we have in there but yeah that like this box back here is not getting reprinted at all like you'll probably that'll never get reprinted what is this collectible magnets honestly so many items like this i do not remember buying it's crazy even like this is earlier this year i don't remember buying this I'm trying to be careful with it i'm just gonna rip that open I think they're all different types of magnets in here. This is pretty cool. If there's a Blastoise one, I might put this on my car. I'm not going to lie. I might have to open one of these up. So there's two different ones. Oh, I did get the Blastoise one. Collectible magnets. This is really cool. So, seven, second edition, third edition. I'm not sure exactly how many magnets they made, but it always happens. I find random things like this, and it's like, all right, well, now I need the whole set. So now i got to figure out how many are even in the set. So what is this from? This is from the year 1999. By down here you see it says C&D Visionary. It's so ridiculous how many different random companies like this Pokemon gave their license to back in the day. It's almost like if they wanted it done, they just they reached out to whoever was going to do it for the cheapest and they got it done. Just amazing to see. I love this. I love this one too, man. The Snorlax, the Mewtwo Mew Gengar. Amazing. I love random items like that. If you ever have anything like this for sale or like that, anything at all you can see i have the pokemon food items behind here i'm gonna fix this a little bit you can see the got to fix the lighting just trying to organize all this background stuff here really do appreciate you guys checking out these videos every single day and happy hunting trainers